I absolutely believe in my heart and soul that I don't know if that man would have survived. A desperate situation that played out on a Salt Lake City street. A man was shot with maybe only minutes to live. That was until a woman with just the right training showed up at just the right time. News special Andrew Adams spoke to her exclusively tonight as police continue to pursue the shooter. Andrew? Now, police initially did not have a lot to go on in the apparent road rage shooting that happened here along 300 West. And it was an extremely dire situation when this woman showed up to the scene. I wanted to go home and take off my uniform and relax. It was a road she'd hoped to avoid. I really didn't want to go to Costco that night. And yet for some reason, she felt driven. Intuition was so loud, I, I couldn't say no. Amber Oaks says her journey the evening of April 5th brought her to this scene. They let me know that it was a drive-by shooting and the man had been shot twice. I ran around to the passenger side, uh, opened the door and just jumped right in. Oaks says it didn't look good. He was shot once on the left side and once on the right side. And so she took a belt and a tourniquet and got to work. I asked the man to take a deep breath and told him it was going to hurt. And then I cinched the belt down as a tourniquet. The Army Staff Sergeant had been preparing for this moment for years. I'm combat lifesaver certified. I've been so trained on this that it was like second nature for me. She slowed the bleeding enough to help save the man's life. It was about seven or eight, maybe nine minutes till the ambulance got there from when I arrived. I absolutely believe in my heart and soul that I don't know if that man would have survived. Oaks now believes she was always meant to take this road. I will call it intuition, gut instincts. I do believe in God and a higher power. And I absolutely believe that I was meant to go that way, to be placed in, in the trajectory of that man's life, because I don't think it was his time to die. The destination, though unexpected, was worth the detour. I had no idea that I would be there to save a man's life. Well, Salt Lake PD is still looking for the shooter. The family did not want to do an interview tonight, but they're obviously grateful for the urgent care. There is a GoFundMe. We'll have information on our website, ksltv.com. Yeah, right place at the right time. She saved a life. So impressive. All right, Andrew, thank you.